Assalamu alaikum. Uh, book of Targib, we will continue reading uh, the chapter number 31. The title of the chapter is Blessings of Repentance. In Arabic, we call it Thawab al Tawbah. So let's begin with the name of Allah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Introduction. Every human being is liable to make mistakes. <clears throat> No one is an angel. The higher the faith is, the fewer mistakes are to be committed. Therefore, when a person makes a mistake, he is to make an apology and repentance. It is reported the following, that every child of Adam is liable to make mistakes, and the best among them are the ones who repent. What are the benefits of repentance? There are benefits for those who make repentance. Among the benefits are the following. Number one, forgiveness. Number two, eliminating the mistakes and erasing them. Number three, replacements of mistakes with credits and blessings. Number four, inspiration and motivation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to do better in the future allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in surah al-furqan the surah about the criterion the following and this is the surah number 25 the ayah number 70 and these are the words of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that unless he repents believes and works righteous deeds for allah will change the evil of such persons into good and Allah is oft forgiving most merciful any person who makes repentance with honesty and sincerity will be protected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala not to repeat the same mistake <clears throat> in the same surah al-furqan Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the following Again, Surah number 25 in the next ayah, in ayah number 71, the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are, and whoever repents and does good has truly turned to Allah in repentance. So what does the Quran say on repentance? What else the Quran says on repentance? The word repentance is mentioned in the Quran about 90 times with different forms. Moreover, there is a chapter in the Quran with the title of Tawbah, the title of repentance. <clears throat> it is the chapter number nine. <clears throat> the following is a partial list of ayah in the Quran about repentance. In Surah Hud, chapter number 11, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is instructing the believers to ask forgiveness and to turn to him with repentance. The ayah goes as follows, and I will read you the exact translations. This is the surah number 11, ayah number 3. And to preach thus, you seek the forgiveness of your Lord and turn to him in repentance, that he may grant you enjoyment, good and true, for a term appointed, and bestows his abounding grace on all who abound in merit. But if you turn away, then I fear for you the chastisement of a great day. In Surah Al-Tahrim, uh, Surah about the holding something to be forbidden, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is advising the believers to make repentance with honesty and sincerity. And the ayah goes as follows, and I will read you the translation. This is the Surah number 66 and ayah number eight <clears throat> these are the words of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala o you who believe turn to allah with sincere repentance in the hope that your lord will remove from you your evil deeds and admit you to gardens beneath which rivers flows the day that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not permit to be humiliated the prophet and those who believe with him their light will run forward before them and by their right hands while they say O oh lord 
and grant us forgiveness for you have power over all things in chapter <clears throat> in chapter of surah al nisa surah about the women uh, chapter number 4 allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is encouraging those who make mistakes are to ask forgiveness and to make repentance as soon as possible they should not delay it the ayah goes as follows and this is the ayah uh, the surah number 4 and ayah number 17 Allah accepts the repentance of those who do evil in ignorance and repeat and repent soon afterwards to them will Allah turn in mercy for Allah is full of knowledge and wisdom so what are the hadiths on repentance hadith is the saying of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam quran is the the words quran are the words of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hadith are the words of prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam The following is a partial list of hadith about repentance. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was infallible, mean masum, and unable to commit mistakes. And and we Muslims believe that all the prophets uh, were masum, like they were infallible. <clears throat> But Prophet Muhammad, he was used to ask Allah forgiveness one hundred times daily. in this regard prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said and this is uh, taken from the sahih muslim o people make repentance to allah and ask him forgiveness i myself do make repentance 100 times daily another hadith could see narrated by hazrat ans radhi allah ta'ala anhu through prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam on behalf of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saying o child of adam any time you call upon me and you appeal to me i will forgive you for whatever you have had and i didn't mind i don't mind o child of adam if your mistakes reach the peak of the sky and then you ask my forgiveness i do forgive you o child of adam if you come to me full of sins as large as the earth then you meet me without associating me with any one then i will give you forgiveness equal to your sins the master of dua of forgiveness that prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam recommended to be recited regularly is as follows and i read you the translation o oh allah you are my god and there is no lord except you you created me and i am your slave i am ready to fulfill my promise and my commitment to you as much as possible i seek refuge in you from the wrong doings i have committed i come back to you o allah for the favor you have done to me and i come to you with my sins o allah forgive me because there is no one to forgive the sins except you so the final final remarks one has to recognize that one of the most beautiful names of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is that he is the forgiver and the source of forgiveness is from him in chapter number 2 surah al baqara allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the following and it's just one small ayah i will read that fatalaqa adamu min rabbihi kalimatin fataba alayhi innahu huwa at-tawwabur rahim and the translation of this ayah number 37 from surah number 2 goes as then adam received from his lord certain words and his lord pardoned him for he is oft returning most merciful so moreover in the same surah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is reminding us to ask forgiveness and to make repentance because he is the forgiver the most merciful and this is the surah number again number 2 surah al baqara ayah number 160 accept those who repent and make amends and openly declare the truth to them i turn for i am oft returning most merciful 
It is good to mention here that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who make repentance and those who wish to be clear from all types of sins, mistakes or dirt. In Surah Al-Baqarah, again Surah number 2, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says the following, and this is the ayah number 222. For Allah loves those who turn to him constantly and he loves those who keep themselves pure and clean. Finally, let us remember what the Prophet Muhammad said about repentance. Whoever asks forgiveness from sins is the one who has no sins. So let us ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the forgiveness. And with this, we end this chapter. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.